Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and today I'm going to show you how to do high pass sharpening which is selective and non-destructive. You're never going to need any other kind of sharpening again. All right, so high pass sharpening is a really great technique that I use for my sharpening. It gives me so much more control and also I can select where I want to apply it, how much I want to apply it, as well as it's completely non-destructive so I can change my mind later on. So what I'm going to do as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to create an action as well so we can reuse this. Now, if you want the action, I'll provide it for you. Look at the link underneath and you can download it from there. All right, so let's start here with a photograph that I shot last week of Callan. And it's looking pretty good, but it needs a little bit of sharpening. In fact, let's look at it here. If we go to control zero. All right, we're just going to scroll down and have a look at the photo here. And notice it's looking pretty good here. And it really needs some sharpening. I haven't done any sharpening yet. Now, obviously, we don't want to sharpen the whole photograph. You know, we don't want to sharpen her face and her skin and her hair because that doesn't look good. But we need to sharpen the rest of the photo and then we're going to paint it away from those other areas. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this up right now for our action. So what you want to do is open the actions panel. If you go under window and you go down to action, it will appear there. And option nine, F9 will actually bring it up as well. So here's our actions panel. And I've got different actions that I've created here for things I use like luminosity masks and frequency separation, different things like that, which require a lot of clicks that I don't want to have to do over and over again. I can create the action and then just hit the play button and use it. Let's demonstrate right now. So let's create a brand new action. So we're going to click here and I'm going to call this one high pass. And we'll just do HP sharpen for high pass sharpen. And I'm going to put it under the set under Photoshop Cafe, which means it's going to go under that folder. And now we're going to click record. Notice this little red record button is on now, kind of like the record button on a VCR, if you know what that is. And um, or on a phone, when you hit the record, you're recording a video. We're doing the same thing, except what it's going to do is it's going to record all the keystrokes that we do inside of uh, Photoshop, as well as the commands that we select. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate this layer and we can do that by hitting Control or Command J. Now we'll get the duplicate. Now we need to take this duplicate image or this duplicate layer and change the layer blending mode to overlay. It's going to look a little funny right now, but that's okay. That's part of the process. So now we're going to go under filter and under filter, we're going to choose other high pass. And now when we're here in the high pass, we're going to choose a setting. I found that about 1.6 works good for this particular image. You don't want to go too high, like really very rarely will you ever go above two. You're going to kind of stay between the one and the two range for a full resolution image. If you're working on a higher res image, you may go a little higher. If you're working on a lower resolution image, you're going to go lower because this works in pixels. So notice what the high pass does is it gives us this kind of a mask around it, very similar to what we would do with our unsharp mask. So we're actually creating our own mask here. All right, so we're going to click OK as I want to set it up for the masking. And rather than doing that manually, I'm going to create this as part of the action so that it will be ready for us to do all our work. So what we want to do is we want to create a layer mask. So we're going to click on the layer mask icon and that's going to create the mask. Then I want to grab a brush. I'm going to hit the B for the brush tool and I'm going to grab a hundred pixel soft edge brush. That's a good starting place. Now what you want to do is hit the D key to reset the foreground and background colors and then hit the X key to set the foreground to black. That means we're going to be ready to paint black on that mask. Wherever we paint, we are going to paint away that sharpening effect. And at this point here, I'm going to stop the action. So we've finished recording the action, but there's one step left. If you look on the action here, see where we created the high pass. And if we open this, you'll see there's what we said, our radius. You want to click right there to create this little box. And what it does, 
as that will actually toggle that where it will pause for input. So instead of just grabbing whatever setting we did there, we'll get to pause on that action and set it to what we want. So it'll be specific for each image because you're probably not gonna use the same setting all the time. All right, so why don't we delete this and I'm gonna show you how this action works right now. So there's our layer. We're gonna select the layer. You're gonna work on with the high pass sharpen. Make sure that is turned on and then hit the play button. And now, it's going to go through the steps of creating that action. Notice it paused for our input. And I'm like, yeah, 1.6 is great. Click OK. And there we go. That action's run. And everything is set up. Our brush is ready to go. Now we're ready to do our retouching. So let's do that right now. So looking at this image right now, it looks pretty good. However, you know, we really need to paint the skin tones out. And I'm actually going to take the smoothing down because I don't need it there. And I'm just going to paint this out around here. Actually, why don't I just do the whole face? Because that's easier than trying to get perfect around the eyes. So let's just go here. We're just going to paint that out entirely. And I'm using my Wacom tablet. That's that noise you can hear. And I'm just going to go like that. Excellent. Now I'm just going to hit the X key. And I'm just using the left bracket key here just to go around the eyes. Let's keep those eyes nice and sharp around the lashes, and around the pupils, around that area. Really just going to make those pop. Excellent. All right. So we're applying that sharpening. Now, we're not blurring this. All we're doing is just turning off that sharpening effect. See that? So now the sharpening, look in the hat there, look around the eyes. Now it's just affecting those areas. Now, we could go down. Let's zoom out a little bit. And let's scroll down. Now you could technically, you know, if there's a lot of stuff here you don't want to apply the sharpening to, you could invert the mask and then just paint with white just where you want the sharpening. But in this case, this is fine. We're just going to grab the brush and I'm going to grab a huge brush here. And just to show you how it works, because notice that arm, it doesn't look good. We're just going to paint that sharpening away on the arm, making sure we're painting with black. There we go. Look at that. We paint that away, paint it away in the hair because we don't want the hair to look like straw. You want the hair to be nice and soft. And drop it down. Now, if you can use pressure sensitivity, see if this is looking too much like you're thinking, well, you know, I'd like to have a little bit there. Well, we could drop the opacity down to 50% by tapping the 5 key. And then we can just paint some of the sharpening away. So we're sharpening the hair a little bit, but not fully. So it still looks nice and soft, but it's got some definition on it. We can do that. And then areas that we want to totally, we just hit the zero key. That'll go take the opacity to 100. And then we can paint those areas out that we don't want to apply any sharpening at all. Of course, we can use the pressure sensitivity here on our Wacom tablet, which is great. And we can just start to blend in, you know, where do we want the sharpening and where do we not want it? And we can just paint that in selectively. So anyway, guys, that's how you create non-destructive, selective, high-pass sharpening as well as how to create an action. I hoped you liked this. If you did, smash that like button into dust. If you're not part of the cafe crew yet, hit that subscribe button because I do at least one new tutorial a week. I don't want you to miss out. Also make sure you hit that little notification bell right there in YouTube and you'll be notified whenever I do a new tutorial. But anyway, drop a comment. Let's get a discussion going. What do you think about this? What's your favorite technique in Photoshop? I'd love to know and what would you like me to talk about next what would you like to see do you have any questions drop them right there into the comments so anyway guys thanks for watching so until next time i'll see you at the cafe